Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to go over how to share the music that you created in Music Creator by creating a WAV file, an MP3 file, a digital release using SoundCloud, or burning a CD. For the example, I'm going to use the song I started in the Working With Loops video. Let's just play a little bit. Before you export or publish any of the music, just make sure that none of your levels are overloading or going into the red. You can check that using the screen set for mixing your song. And if we play a little bit. The main thing is we just don't want the master going into the red. I'm going to go back to the home screen by pressing 1. And let's export this as a WAV file. Well, this is the button we want to use, Export Audio. Now, the first thing you want to do is navigate to where you want to put it. I have a folder on my desktop called Mixes, so I'm going to store it in there. I've decided to call this song Let's Go, so I'm going to type in Let's Go as the file name. And we have a few choices here to export CD quality, MP3, share with SoundCloud and Windows Media. We're going to go with CD quality. You can see that the file type of WAVE is already set. All I need to do is hit Export. And in a few seconds, it's done. If I open that folder on my desktop, you can see the file is right here, and I can click to play it. All right, let's look at another example. If we wanted to burn this to a CD, there's a simple additional step. If we do File Export, and we'll do the very same thing. I'll just choose this, and we'll call this Let's Go 2 to give it a different file name. We can add it to the Audio CD track list. And now I export it again. Now to burn the CD, we just click right here. This dialog box comes up and you can see our song is ready to go. To burn the CD, all we need to do is put in a blank CD and click Burn CD. You can add additional songs to the CD by opening those projects and selecting Add to Audio CD track list as you export the WAV files. Alternatively, you can add additional tracks if you've already exported the WAV files by just clicking right here. Then you can navigate to the file and we can add several additional tracks. When we're all ready to go, just click Burn CD, and now we'll have a CD with three songs on there. We can also rearrange the order of the playlist for the CD by just clicking on any of these, like Quick Start, and Move Up, and I can change the order of the tracks on the CD. So that's how you burn a CD and how you export WAV files. Now, to export as an MP3 file works almost the same way. Just click the Export button, Type in the file name, and here choose MP3. And then just click Export, and it will save it as an MP3 file. Now, Music Creator includes a 30-day trial version of the Cakewalk MP3 encoder. After that, you won't be able to export as MP3 without getting that encoder. But it's a low-cost option and very convenient if you want to create MP3 files. Now, let's take a look at doing a digital release with SoundCloud. Once again, we go to the Export dialog. We'll use the file name, and down here, we have two SoundCloud options. Share with SoundCloud CD quality. We're going to use that option. We can also do share with SoundCloud MP3. The quality is not quite as high, but the upload time is a lot faster. So we'll go this way and hit export. Now here, it's just asking me if I want to overwrite the WAV file I created before. Well, I really don't want to do that, so I'm going to cancel and just give it a slightly different name. So we'll call that Let's Go 3 and we'll hit Export. It mixes down the audio. Now the first time you do this, this message will come up asking you to connect with SoundCloud. Now if you're not a member of SoundCloud yet, just click here, go to the website and sign up. Once you have your password, come back and fill in this information. After you fill in your credentials, you'll see you're now connected to SoundCloud. I'm going to press OK. Next, you'll see this form for your song. You can put in the title. Let's clean up the title. I'm going to put in Let's Go. You can put in a genre, tags, description. Of course, you can do these on the website after the fact as well. So I'm just going to leave those blank for now. You can decide on a license if you want to have a Creative Commons license. All rights reserved, which is what I'm going to choose here. Track type original. You can make it downloadable or you can make it private. You can also put in a message. You can also share it on Facebook or share it on Twitter. You just need to set up these connections in SoundCloud before this will actually work. Now all I need to do is click Share, and the song will automatically start uploading. Now depending on the speed of your internet connection, this might take some time. 
Now we can see the upload is successful. We can click on this link to go to the song in SoundCloud. And if we look at SoundCloud, you can see it's in the process of converting this track into a format that can be played online. And now it's ready to go in SoundCloud. We can play it back. You can add comments to different sections. You can share it by embedding it into Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, or an email. Or you can just grab a link and embed it into any website. To see all the tracks that you've got on SoundCloud, just click on You. And you can scroll through, play, and share any of the tracks that you've uploaded from Music Creator. So now you should have a good understanding of how to publish your music, either by exporting a WAV file, an MP3 file, burning a CD, or publishing it on SoundCloud. And from SoundCloud, you can publish it to Facebook or Twitter or embed it in a website. I hope you've enjoyed these videos. I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun creating music with Music Creator 6. I'll see you in another video very soon.